With the lights turned down low, the music sounded and the video played, giving a glimpse of the lives and legacies of five people who impacted Quincy businesses. The first inductee into this year's Business Hall of Fame, Carl Merkel, who led the family business from a corner store to a corner stone in Quincy, becoming the president of Merkel's Inc. He was just a good old guy, worked hard for his achievements that he received through his life. George Spear and his late wife Charlotte were known to comfort many people in times of heartache. Together they ran a family business, the Hanson Spear Funeral Home. My dad is just absolutely honored to be uh, awarded this uh, honor from the Chamber of Commerce. You know, if my mother were here today, she'd be honored too. Uh, I think she'd probably be even a little bit embarrassed. Uh, the, I don't think they ever thought of what they do as being a business, but just more of a, uh, just what they do. The sudden death of John Stevenson Sr. shocked his family and friends, as well as his partners in the Stevenson Paxton Wealth Management Group, now affiliated with Wells Fargo Advisors. If he believed in a cause, he would volunteer and, and donate and do anything he could to help them, and he would take it over the top. Same thing with his family and his friends and his dogs. Stevenson died soon after being told he would be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Dr. Walter Whitaker's family took to the stage as one to accept the award for the co-founder of Quincy Clinic, now known as Quincy Medical Group. He would be extremely honored and touched if he were here today. He touched so many lives and families in the Quincy community. To be honored with something like this and to even be included with uh, some of the past recipients as well as the recipients that are going in today. It's just humbling to our family to be included with people like that. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Quincy.